then uh, let, let's let's see what this is about, shall we? Well, Brave is finally out for New Genesis. Now we're waiting for Bouncer to drop, and at the end of the year, which, we're which we got a while. A Gunblade, quote unquote, class. The next few months, however, I feel like may actually be some of the slowest months we'll see for New Genesis while they're and in the background saying something. making some content. And that's saying something, especially right now. Well, well, I guess the Abdul Tower defense. Out with the end of year update and beyond. But in this video, I want to talk about some concerns I've got with this lull period we got coming up over the fall period. So this is the roadmap we know so far. We've had the launch. We've had the ninth anniversary event in July, a month after launch. And we've now had in August Braver drop. Next week, we're getting the new Mining Rig Defense Urgent Quest, and we'll also get the DLC pack, which isn't really content, it's just cosmetic. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Like, I thought... Oh, never mind. I, I guess I guess it wouldn't be that week. I don't know why I was thinking the, the physical, like, collector edition stuff was well, this week. That's also coming very soon. This pacing's been less than desirable, but it's better than nothing. However, over in the fall period is where things start to get a little bit concerning. So, obviously, we're going to get the Bouncer class, which a lot of people are... Oh, look. I will wait, chat. It is September to uh, November. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought we were going to go to late November. Add something new to the game. I don't think we're actually going to see any story quests or any content outside of just getting the class Yeah, I can mention Pat Triggles. Really to go by. Would it be nice to actually have a lead Mission Pat can be the highlight, probably. It. We have a little bit to do on the side, and then we get to play as Braver. And same goes for Bouncer when we do get that. Now, we're also going to get the Mission Pass, which isn't content. Again, this is just another means of getting items and cosmetics. A little bit of a Which you're going to have to pay probably 10 really, bucks for right? again. Now, this format of the roadmap I did take from the bump.org website. You should go and check so, uh, so, hang on, man, chat. Any will and what, that? Three months? So, yeah. So, pretty much in that is, of course, we're going to be doing more Braveheart stuff. And leveling it the same way we have been, which, you know, great. But at least we're going to be able to do trigger quests. The one thing I'm curious about trigger quests, is, though, is I'm very much wanting to know, since the trigger quests will probably just be the origin quests, I wonder if we can just do tower defense up to, um, you know, to level up a bounce, or, or will it stay actually, like, you know, a 20 plus activity? Because if a 20 plus deal, like, mm. check it out and bookmark it because they are a great news website. But the title system has actually been taken off the roadmap, at least on the I Japanese wish we were getting the title system. Site, it's been something to farm for, though. Maybe put back in a later date, but at the moment, it's off the cards. It was going to be in the autumn fall period, but as of this point, we really don't know. We're also getting the Mag Evolution device sharing system, which literally just allows us to change the look of our mags, as far as we understand. Unless and probably had to pay to do it again. System, which I wouldn't expect for some time. So this is where I am a little bit concerned because the fall period covers September through to November, the end of November. And there's nothing saying that those updates won't drop in one big update and then we'll have two low months maybe. Or maybe each of those updates will drop one week and then we'll yeah, well, well, have another one we'll have one of those features drop, so on and so forth. These yeah, because so that means we got a way to at war class, case scenario, February, for patently new content. They are already burnt out. And I'm hoping that when the next headline stream rolls around, or even the next one or two, maybe they start to hint at some content that they haven't revealed just yet, such as an urgent we quest. We can hope on that. Maybe a new system with, I don't know, trading in for some equipment. Just something to keep us going while we are waiting for that big content drop at the end of the year. Now, another thing is, though, that Halloween is coming up, so I would expect to see a Halloween event. It's just they haven't mentioned anything about this just yet. Yeah, they you would think we would get something for it. Event, so it's interesting that they haven't mentioned the Halloween event or any other or events. Or would it be, you know, bait PSO again? So I'm expecting those things will probably come. It's just that it's a little bit weird that they're not on the roadmap currently. That said, just a quick little note on that. There's probably a greater topic for in the future. I just hope that those events, if we do get them, are more substantial than the recent ninth anniversary event, which was pretty mid at most. Yeah, but you the item then we said, so we couldn't, we couldn't farm without. That, where maybe they change the location for it across the months. Maybe there's a mining. Because the night and a Vulture will put up for me at least dead after the fourth week. Magnus, well, yeah, I get a week and a half. They've called this first one the Alio one. Maybe it's not just tied to the specific region we're in. And again, yeah, this is me just speculating. None of this stuff is anything they've announced. And yeah, there's definitely a degree of copium to this. I think at this point, a lot of us feel like 
we're probably serial complainers at this point. I definitely don't like talking about the negatives of New Genesis, but just how much of it there has don't, been. Yeah, none of it do. Positives at this point outside of the world being beautiful, the classes being for the most part fun with, you know, we need to see some fixes for some of them. A lot of people are kind of unimpressed with Braver at the moment. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to get that ratio of more positivity until the end of the year at the very least. Which is why I'm hoping that they're kind of an underdog and they come out with some yeah, something more than, to get us excited again. Because honestly, more than lightly, like, I can follow, like, content beyond, what, 15 minutes-ish is, like, not going to happen to we actually get net we gen. Hopefully, you know, when we get the net we gen, you know, it will be add, hopefully, you know, a good 40 hour to 100 hour back into the game. It seemed like it going to, leave them how big the devs will look. I just hope the Dezo are not completely empty beyond, like, you know, like, five new cocoons or something. But, yeah, we will have to wait and see on that. Again, with New Genesis and get us logging in and having something to do with our time while playing New Genesis. Outside of just hanging out in lobby and maybe chatting with our friends. Right now, New Genesis makes it look like Second Life is more of an MMO than New Genesis, which is kind of a big burn. So, yeah, yeah and kind of awkward, to be honest. Is the whole reason why I made this video was Ugh. the next three-month period... We've got now dwelling on that. Dropping, we've that, got that actually pass, fairly quick. And there's also going to be the mag system. So the three month period, it feels like it's going to be very, very light unless they come out and say something, which is where I'm kind of stressed about PSO in general. Which we will see on, I think, the 27 when they do net dev stream. And maybe not coming back for an extended period more so maybe than the content that's dropping at the end of the year, which let's get into now. So at the end of the year in winter, so December through to end of February, it could drop at any point for any of these things, right? So we get the new region, which is going to be the desert region. Maybe they could surprise us and give us a second one, or maybe they'll expand it a little bit more. People have been noticing things popping up in the desert as they look into it. I noticed a tower. If you're looking at the volcano area now, to the right of it, there's a tower that's appeared there. I don't know if that was there before, but I just noticed it today. So Sega is actually actively doing things with the areas around Alio at the moment and they are appearing in updates if you want to pay attention and maybe get a little bit excited that way. But we're also going to be getting new class skills, new techniques, they don't mention photon arts but I hope they do that as well, and also a level cap extension up to 35 so we'll probably see areas around the desert area probably jumping to level 20 enemies, level 25 enemies. Yeah, real quick, my, my biggest worry though about the new area is like or leak the new like toy content up tied to that is since the level cap at 20 so that a 15 uh cap weights <sighs> my biggest worry that we're gonna get we're gonna get um we're gonna get into a situation like it is right now in bait pso2 new genesis where like toy wise you're only gonna get to like 15 in the lap five level you're just kind of grinding so i'm a little worried that we might have one of them cases where we're gonna be like 28 to 30 by the time the new content done and then the lap by uh, level we just wipe back to the the grind only distance down the desert area because i'm hoping that won't be the case i'm hoping like like ideally would be like one one of the ways like i would do it would be like if we thought adding like more cocoons not only you know give up guild points but also have it well, you know how when you go into a cocoon, you have like, you know, those side mission that give you better thoughts. I kind of hope the new cocoons will be something along the lines of like, hey, instead of just getting these thoughts, like, you know, still get them to us, but also have it well. We have like a billion boots of being like, oh, you got a five thoughts, so you get a 20% bonus to the overall billions. Uh, you know, kind of similar to how the origin quest is right now with the, like, the dragon fight. Well, you know, you get no affiliate to after you kill the dragon. Just do that for the cocoons. And then also then, like, the battle you do. And, you know, might it be, you know, damage, time, whatever. In return, we'll just start adding, like, you know, multiplier to your uh, leveling. That way, you know, cocoon stop being the whole thing of, like, you do it once, you get your kill point, and then you never do them again. You know, actually have it just be, like, a proper way to also, like, farm level. Because at that point, and then... You can level by killing Martel, doing the toy quests, by doing the cocoons. You know, to try to make cocoons a lot better. Hopefully that will something that will come in a hill since we will be getting new cocoons at New Ouija, new cocoon, obviously. So man, that would be that would be a nice little thing, cause it's like having at least for me why right now is like content great, but 
the main thing is, you know, I get banded out in a way where we not, you know, jump one in circle for, you know, like 15 hours straight, you know, add other stuff to do that going to give a, a billion to level. Especially with the level cap and the new classes as well. Enemies, 30, 35 enemies are around that, and then probably Gigantics for level 39. I think more so than the Autumn Fall content, this is more likely to drop all this stuff all at once, whereas all those features that they are releasing with the Autumn period seem like they lend themselves to being able to be split up across the three yeah months i agree with that like now, that, here's my like that seemed like a legit like update or banter opium, i don't mind i want the best for the game i want to do more in the game and i think a lot of us are in that scenario a lot of people are pessimistic at the moment because they've been burnt which is totally fine but i'm hoping that we get a new roadmap coming into the winter period where we know what content's coming out in 2022 and I'm hoping we do see a girthier roadmap in comparison to the launch roadmap where maybe every three months we're getting pretty decent sized updates, maybe at least mid-tier updates where they're adding new urgent quests, new features that are, you know, outside of just changing your mag or something. Like, you know, maybe a shop's getting updated with some items like an NPC that sells new series of weapons. I don't know. Yeah, that'd like, be nice. Maybe we get... Can I go back to my my complaint about like area you know not having enough like items in the game? We get a vendor that starts selling six star gear, like just stuff like that. I think not cosmetic. Really cool. We don't call it and count Maybe cosmetics. Like mid the actual item. Major update. I think actually it would be perfect to have a major update every six months, and then a medium sized update every three months would be pretty decent. I think. So that's my hopes. I'm hoping that now that we're starting to burn through this roadmap. That it's getting to the point where Sega on their headline streams are going to come out and be like, look, here's the new roadmap or here's some added months and this is the content we're going to see. I think we're definitely starting to get to the point where all the content they're working on in the background that you would assume that they're Yo, doing you. at the moment, Welcome. they're going to start to reveal and at least give us a heads up of what to expect down the line. Especially in regards to story as well. That's something I haven't mentioned. We definitely need a lot more story content. Yeah, we can easily right probably now. get like more really like little side doy like like we like dig in the lap update. And that's it. They don't really have a lot of personality outside of Ina being a little bit depressed at the moment. I want to find out what makes them tick. And also, Doy Dub could what also. I'm doing in the meantime, oh. you may have seen on Twitter. <laughs> Call that I chat. am now playing Final Fantasy XIV on the Gilgamesh server on Aether Data Center. Chat, I freaking caught it, didn't I? Let's let's, let's see. Let's let, let's see let's see if Anamana is gonna stop posting Final Fantasy video by the end of the month, and then and then my theory will come full circle. Chat. Yeah, it, it honestly like I f I feel like with 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 the change of the scenery right now of um of a lot of people, cause you know like before. You know, all this, not, you know, not counting PSO2, just any MMO in general here, was, you know, most people would play it, play an MMO, play it to, you know, completion, to whatever, you know, out of content, get the end game, do what you're going to do and you leave, whatever it might be, you know, for whatever reason you will leave and hopefully come back later. You know, a lot of people beforehand would just go the WoW and then toy around in WoW, and then by the time WoW expansions are done, you know, go back to some other MMO if they do return to it, you know, might it be, you know, like, PSO, Guild War 2, Neverwinter, what, you know, whatever it might be. It's just right now, with the whole Puppet Thorn for 14, is, it feels like right now we're gonna have that, like, anyone like New War come out, and any other MMO that in the walk are coming out, you know, like Ashen's of Equation, or whatever, is I have a feeling none of them MMO gonna hold any attention beyond, you know, a month or two, including PSO2, because honestly, PSO2 was about, what, for the non-super hardcore people, um, like, or content quite a while, like, it took about, what, a week, two weeks, which, and we told them some of that could also just been the tech issues. Like, now, now with everything happening with, like, Blizzle and WoW and, you know, that whole situation, it just, you know, Final Fantasy is, you know, the MMO everyone gonna hop to, and then, you know, and then when we get update for whatever MMO, you know, people enjoy, they will hop back, play that content, and would torn. So, it probably I bet to see a lot of people, like, that becoming the new, you know, the new standard. 
for MMO for the time being. You know, two fourteen fall in its own way. You know, because the the problem here with like in general about gaming content doesn't matter what MMO it is. You know, it could be hell. It could be like said New War when that comes out at the end of the month. That month, I think that got put back, didn't it? You know, people people gonna want out stuff to do in like a month or two, and then they're just gonna you know hop to some other MMO, which in that case will probably be Final Fantasy, and then back in a couple months when stuff get added. I called the fourth part of this. Still getting settled in and sorted out, but I do have some friends that I will potentially be playing with in the future. Quite a few friends that do actually play on this server, or at least in the data center. So I'm not giving up on PSO2 New Genesis. It's just that right now there's not a lot of content. I'm going to do my dailies and weeklies and maybe a few other things, maybe like leveling up all my class to 20, which I haven't gotten to just yet for yeah, at least I'm, four classes at the moment. I'm down but to the daily and weekly. when I start to get bored of that for the day, I'll be jumping into Final Fantasy 14. I'm at the end of Heavensward at the moment. That was honestly the, the oh, wow. expansion that I just dropped and didn't like way back when it Oh, oh, finished. he the continuing. Start of okay. is very slow, and I think that's what killed it for me, but... Now I'm getting a... I was getting ready to say, like, I knew, I knew he pulled it on Twitter, I think, like, a day or two ago, talking about Final Fantasy, but... Okay, that makes sense how he already to have him was, if he's just picking up where he left off. The really cool stuff. So, I'm definitely interested to checking out the end of Heaven's Ward, and then getting into the two other expansions. I've actually pre-ordered Endwalker as well now, so I am looking to play. Oh, he Currently indeed. I'm playing Monk. That is the class I've always played. I played pretty heavily for A Realm Reborn. So I'm definitely not a newbie to Final Fantasy XIV. I just haven't kept up to date with it over the years. Another thing I am thinking of though is starting to do streams of something like this and maybe some other games as well. Now, the thing I'm a little bit torn on at the moment is that I feel like if I do stream variety content on YouTube, it may dilute things. But let me know chat, if you would prefer it, me to stream variety chat. content onto YouTube or you would like to see me as much as I don't like the way Twitch has been over the last few months, I might None suck it likes up it. if it does mean that it is better for my YouTube channel and actually stream variety content there on the side. Let me know which you'd prefer below and if you'd be interested in seeing some variety content such as Final Fantasy XIV, maybe some more redraces, Do it. and maybe some other games as well. Again, not giving up on PSO2, I'm just having something to make sure that I don't burn out when the content does come out and I can go in heavy and have it feel fresh. Now, again, I've been spamming this on my recent videos, but if you are getting prepared for the mining rig defense quest coming up, I'm going to put that on the screen right now and you can check it out and get all the information you need to okay. get started with that once it does drop. I'm Anna Mana. I'll catch the next one. You know, Have a good one. Bye. I look like another one to join the Final Fantasy crowd, huh? I guess it's not totally warm. We we will see. Like, I'm kind of I'm kind of in the camp as well as hoping that, you know, the stuff in, let be honest, it will probably be February, no, no, like, will hopefully be one thing. And, like I said, hopefully the, the trickle quest it won't be, you know, all, like, gated. Uh, especially, like, tower defense up, not gated to jet 20. Because, honestly, that, that could be, hopefully that will be something we will heal about soon. Not only my hope for, like, cocoon stuff that we were talking about before, but... Uh, what will also be nice, especially going into the trigger quests, would be, since as of now, we only got, or going to have three origin quests. Uh, so we only gonna have three, maybe four to do in the trigger before they get added. So, I'm hoping, like, another thing they could do that will also help out here, uh, with leveling, depending on how trigger quests are gonna be given out, because, you know, we still don't know. We don't know if it's gonna be tied to a quest, is it gonna be, like, daily rewards... Is it just going to be buying just straight off of, like, the Etsy shop? Like, you know, uh, like it would with the what find up. Hopefully, when they do trickle quests, hopefully they will do a, uh, a slide or just, like, bait PSO2. You know, where we could pick, like, normal hard, extra hard. And then just have each of them give this an amount of billion. And also, if they wanted, they could also, like, uh, degate it to... You know, levels as well or power level so instead of being like easy hard medium it'd be like it require you know 1400 it require 1300 and so on if they really wanted to hopefully we get something like that hopefully we will see luna here i would like to give some thanks to kyle blower and sepian underground for feeding me the best cat if you want to call out by me luna then sub at VIP Arcs level over on Patreon or become a members here on YouTube. See you all next time.